with another SOLIDWORKS tech tip. This week I'm going to be talking about lightweight components. So I have my uh, assembly here that I've opened lightweight, but what I want to do is I want to make this, uh, I want to make some changes to it. You'll notice that because I've loaded it in lightweight it doesn't have any features, but the geometry is correct. It's based on the last saved state that this, uh, that this part was in. A lot of people make the mistake of believing that it's shown to the last state that it was displayed when my assembly was saved. So any changes that I would have made to the part on its own wouldn't be reflected, but this isn't true. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make these two concentric to one another. And now when I move my propane tank and do a rebuild, the cut extrude follows suit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save my assembly and I'm going to close it. Now let's open it back up again. I'll make sure it's opening up in lightweight. By setting the lightweight down here. And I'll say open it up. Taking careful to note that my base shelf is still lightweight. Now if I were to move this and do a rebuild, you might notice that my cutout doesn't move. That's because my base shelf is lightweight and it doesn't have any uh, doesn't have any features in there to rebuild. So this is the general misconception that people have. Is that um, or this is why people have the that misconception rather. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the workaround for that. So let's set this to resolved, and I'm going to completely get rid of this cut extrude, by which I mean I'm going to suppress it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, I'm going to create a sketch at my assembly level, not editing the part, and I'm going to make this concentric. Give it an arbitrary size that's probably probably too small, but just the same. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an assembly level cut. So I'll pick my sketch, I'll go up to assembly features, and I'll do an extruded cut. In terms of components, I don't want to auto select. I will just want it to cut through this. Otherwise, it might cut through my propane tank as well. Okay. So you can see that I have my cut extrude there. Let's save this assembly and close it down and we'll reopen it again just as we had before in lightweight mode. And now what you'll see when I go and drag this, when I do my control Q rebuild the whole position updates even though this plate is still set to lightweight and that's because my feature is not lightweight.